Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a key vault in Azure portal. So open the Azure portal, log into the Azure portal and under search type the key vault and hit the enter. You can see under services, a key vault service will be appeared. Just click on key vault and then you need to click on create key vault option. Over here, you need to choose the resource group. So I already created one resource group for key vault so that I have selected. Now you can give your key vault name. Key vault for let's say encryption and choose the region. The name is already uh, taken by someone. So that is the reason I need to choose the unique name. So that I choose and choose a pricing tire. There are two tires of tire you can create a key vault premium and standard so for the time being I'm creating a, a standard one now in Azure uh, they introduce the new permission model with Azure role based access control and that is the recommended one so I'm going with that option you can choose the resource access to your key vault that also you can customize so either you can choose at the moment or you can customize later also so for the time being I'm just taking one box Go to the networking, you can customize your network and access to your key vault based on your subnet. So you can add your subnet detail virtual network over here. And based on that, you can give the access. So I'm going by default op options. Tags, you can choose your own options, whatever you want to create and then go to the review and create validate all the options and just hit the create button now you can see uh, the deployment is in progress and it will finish within few minutes let's wait for two resource available now you can see the key vault is deployment is completed now you can see the key vault and the, the details of your key vault the resource group name location the zone you have selected a subscription name soft delete is like a recycle bin and purge protection like if you want to recover your keys that you can cover within a certain uh, time period so if you click on purge protection, the by default uh, days to retain is 90 days. You can enable purge protection so that you can uh, retain your uh, deleted uh, vault within 90 days. I'm saving the, the changes and now go back to the object section. Click on keys. Over here, uh, we are creating uh, keys. And, but you can see there is a warning. The operation is not allowed by RBAC. If role assignment were recently changed, please wait several minutes for role assignments to become e effective. So to get a read of this error, you need to go to the access control and click on view my access. Over here, you need to assign the permission. Though you are an owner, but you don't have key vault related uh, permissions. Now go to the add, add role assignment, choose the key vault administrator role and click on next, then add the members. So I'm adding for myself to create a keys. So I selected my ID and just click on select and then click on next and verify the details and just click on review and assign the role. So now you can see if I go back to the keys, the option should get reflected. So now you can see I can create a key. Yeah. Test one key RSA, the key type you can choose as per your requirement. So and the key size. 
and then you can you can set the expiration date as well so i'm putting the one year date key rotation policy that also you can configure it. so if you want to rotate the keys within 30 days enable auto rotation enable rotation time in days like 30 days and here expiry in deleted delay let's say 340 days or 30 days before expiry it will the notification rotation time the value cannot be greater than 23 days because as i choose the expiry date 23 days 30 days sorry then notification i keep the seven days and click on ok likewise you can customize the key rotation policy and now i'm creating key now you can see the i'm able to create a key in the key vault now like same way you can create the secrets over here certificates so this is all about the uh, key vault and over here you can manage your keys you can generate your keys and do the certificate lifecycle management secret management if you have any question you can comment me i will try to answer you as much as possible thank you